Hey, it's like a woman or something in Kidder. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up dual monitors. Now, this can either extend your desktop or uh, the, what do you call that? Uh, display your desktop or mirror your desktop, which means to copy your desktop onto the other one. Just duplicate your desktop. Anyway, a study shows that uh, having two monitors actually increases performance. So, for, you know, a lot of 3D graphic designers and you know, programmers use this a lot and it really helps and even power users can use it and that's what I do so first off I'm going to show you the hardware way which is pretty self-explanatory just follow my steps and it should be different for every computer depending on what you have but I'm gonna if you have a laptop you should all be set to go so <coughs> sorry about that excuse me but if you have a laptop you should be set to go so uh, you just gotta you know plug it in and plug in your monitor so Bear in mind, my monitor is old. It's a old one. I'm just, I just pulled it out. Not that one, sorry. It's a CRT, really old. Out of my closet, I just use it as a double monitor. I'm not gonna go out and buy, uh, you know, a, a, no, a new LCD or anything like that. I have to do that. I'm already buying one for replace this monitor. Then I'll use this one as a second monitor for that one for my laptop. Now, if you have a laptop, you should be set to go. As long as you have this output, which most laptops do, right here. So that my right there is the VGA uh, output. Now, anyway, if you have VGA or HDMI, and your laptop only supports one thing. You just get a there is a transformer or a connector for your uh, VGA. Or, uh, you just put it on the end of your VGA or HDMI. They're called VGA to HDMI or HDMI to VGA cable. Sorry, I'm talking fast. That was hard to say. But anyway, you just plug it in and it should work. Okay. Anyway, so let me show you how to set this up. Let me get around here. Yeah. And again, if you just take your VG, the cable right here, now some support the screws on laptops, if you see that screw right there. Some support that screw and some don't, mine doesn't. So usually I just tape it back and just plug it in. Try and get as close as you can to your laptop. Oh man, I just dropped it. Now if you have a desktop, I, I, I have a desktop, but it doesn't, it needs a new graphics card, which I need to buy. That supports dual monitors, a Radon and I mean ATI and uh, Nvidia make both make it. Now most nowadays have it. If not, you know, you can just go ahead and buy a new one. Just pop it in there, nice and snug. Your screen should blank out for a second, and it's gonna go to your display settings. Set those up as you please. No, I'm just, uh, set those up as you know, however you want. You know, let me just turn around here and turn on this monitor. Let's see. Okay. Now, I'm trying to get the same resolution if you can to, for better, you know, but mine isn't, and it doesn't have to be, not a requirement, but right there. Mine extended the desktop, so I'm just pull this around right here. There you go. Your monitor should be ready to go. So now, let me just show you an example of what you can do. For example, this is the recording screen, and I'll watch it as it goes off screen. There it is. You can easily just mirror it right there. Or you mirror or extend, and I'm extending. I can go half a window, half a window there, half a window there. So, whatever is fine. As you notice, the camera goes a little shaky. Sorry about that. So, there you go. And you can even duplicate your monitor. Whatever you need to do, you can do it now. You can just drag and drop monitors there. That's windows there. For, you know. And you can drag your mouse right there. You see my mouse? I don't know if you can see it. It's black. Well, there it is, right there. And my Vista sidebar is over there. So that's how you set up dual monitors, the hardware way. Now, if you have a desktop and you don't have the cable and you still need dual monitors, there's a power toy that X, uh, Microsoft uh, made. It's called Virtual Desktop Manager. Just search it on Google and download it. And right click right here I don't have it on but sorry not oh my gosh pardon. right click in the bottom right of your screen you should get a thing that says task manager or toolbars actually go to toolbars and it'll say something like uh you should say virtual desktop manager and just enable it and you should have four separate desktops or you can get stuff like Yodem 3D as a trial or buy stuff like that 
or even a down Ubuntu Ubuntu or clients that have it, however you pronounce it. Linux distros like a uh, Sabion, Barrel have those separate desktops. You know, now that's a little more tricky. You might want to use a live CD to download that. So whatever you want to do. That's how you set up dual monitors. As simple as that. And again, there you go. So quick overview. If you have a laptop, just plug it in the cable and make sure your monitor has power and just plug it in here. Now you won't get any audio or anything from this one, so be aware of that. And if you have a desktop like my old one right here, just go to the back of your graphics card, plug it in, do the same thing, and just uh, plug the other end in your monitor and you should be able to go. And that's that. Again, if you have a laptop, you should be set to go. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed how to set up dual monitors and I hope you get to set up yours. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Anyways, thanks for watching.